So a quick tip for you now, for those who use um, TradingView and are into their Renko charts, how do you set alerts on a Renko chart in TradingView? There's something that might catch you out if you're not careful, but this quick tip um, video will show you exactly how to do that process. So let's get into it. Right, so you want to set an alert on Renko charts in TradingView. It's not as straightforward as you quite think, and there's something that might catch you out. Now, here's our example. We've got the S&P 500 e mini futures contract, the block size and time frame irrelevant there at the moment. Our strategy here is simple. Um, we want to buy um, the S&P if it goes above the moving average and sell it if it goes below in that instance it wouldn't have worked but this is just for purposes of showing you how to set the indicators so the first thing that is going to trip you up is this little guy up the top here if the chart is set to ATR the Renko chart there you won't be allowed to set an indicator let's just quickly go through that to do the indicator you would just right click on say the price here the blocks add alert to there and you'll instantly get this um, box saying alert cannot be set on an ATA, ATR based chart and that's also the same for CAGI and anything else that is related that way so what do we have to do well we have to go into the chart settings change it to the traditional option put it to the block size that we want that's what we were using just a minute ago 10 and then we do the same thing we click on there um, just check that we've got the block size right right click add alert and now it allows you to do the um, action and we just simply want it when it's crossing that moving average and we want it to happen every time on the bar close you can put the comments and alert name, whatever you want, how you want to be notified by it on there as well. And all you have to do then is hit create. And to make sure that you know that it's worked, you would go over to here on the right. There's this little bell button where your alerts are stored. Click on there, um, pull down um, into the top, sort by um, the time that you created. The newest first, and there we go. At the top there, we just click on that. We can see that was the alert we created so it's as simple as that but the important tip is there remember don't forget to set it to traditional and not ATR otherwise you're not going to be able to put an alert on there and the same process for um, all alert settings if we um, hit an indicator let's just add on for argument's sake and the inputs aren't going to be um, what we would use um, how do we put an alert on there just right click add alert on stochastic go through the settings we want it when say the percentage K and percentage D cross we do it on the once per bar close we can put the comments in set the notifications how we want hit create it goes into our list and voila you have an alert that is how you set an alert in trading view on your Renko charts. So there you go, pretty straightforward. And if you want to learn more about the Renko charts, how they work, pulling them to pieces and then building your own strategies using some of my other ideas, thoughts, suggestions and experiences, then I've got a great playlist for you that you want to work your way from top to bottom if you want to become a Renko expert. And that is coming up right now.